Well, hello then, I do hope you're all well. Now, is this the best brilliant takedown of this government mini budget excuses? <laughs> now, what I mean is, after Baroness Smith had batted away our Lord Forsyth, boom, brave attempt to defend this shower of incompetence in the government, you know, for the mess that we're in, she then took aim at the hilarious excuses that they came out with after what had happened. <coughs> My Lord, when you look at the timeline of what happens and when, the market movements perfectly tracked announcements and media appearances by the Prime Minister and the Chancellor, including last week's speeches in Birmingham. The Chancellor claimed that the economic chaos was partly the result of additional pressure he experienced following the death of the Queen, as his statement came just four days after the funeral. My Lords, he chose that date. And I'm sure I wasn't alone in my exasperation that the economic term I've been explained away as policies being badly communicated. Mm. My Lords, that wasn't the issue. They were the wrong policies and no amount of communication could dis disguise that. But my Lords, some excuses were more imaginative than others. And uh, though not a member of the government, Noble Lord Hannan, who smiles at me, and he probably knows what's coming next, he did try his best to help. I look forward to his contribution later. He remarked that the real reason for the pounds crash was really quite simple. And it wasn't because of decisions taken in Downing Street. The pounds value collapsed because, and I quote, the markets are terrified of Keir Starmer. <laughs> My lords, this time the party opposite wasn't blaming the last Labour government, it was blaming the next one. <laughs> it might be helpful to reflect that on average, the last Labour government achieved higher annual growth than we have seen over the past 12 years of the Conservative Government. And my Lords, the Prime Minister and the Chancellor now claim to have listened. They said they've listened to the markets, listened to the public, they said they've listened to their own MPs. After nine days of digging in on the 45p income tax rate, Liz Truss finally announced in a massive U-turn during the Conservative Party conference that it would remain. However, most of the mini-budget still stands, but it's only Monday. It is currently still a package aimed at those in the top 5% of income, despite mainstream economic analysis and experience having shown time and time again that trickle-down economics simply doesn't work. The government would do well to follow the advice of Noble Lord Clark of Nottingham and others and said, just start again. Or if the Chancellor is convinced that he has, to borrow a phrase from Boris Johnson, got the big calls right, he should publish the OBR's economic forecast. <coughs> Publish it today, they should publish it in full. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Top class trolling, you could say, especially with our Lord Hannon. A boom! I'd love to have seen his face when she was taking their eyes. That would have been priceless. But it just goes to prove one thing that when the shit hits the fan, they know where to be found, are they? They found one too when it comes to taking responsibility for any of the mess that they cause and it's always somebody else's fault isn't it <laughs> some of them excuses were priceless weren't they jesus christ what cretins they are <laughs> right there'll be two more of these and all i'm gonna say is the last one oh it's brilliant you will love it <laughs> i'm guarantee you, you will love it this is priceless but anyway those are for tomorrow, so I shall bid you farewell, because if I don't do it now, I'm likely to fall off this chair in hysterics, so I shall bid you farewell and take care. <laughs>